Hello and uh, welcome to Arab News, Shakil Sahab. Assalamu alaikum. It's a pleasure having you here in our studios today. Wa alaikum assalam. Thank you, Sir Asa, for uh, uh, inviting me to be here at the Arab News website. And, uh, it's a pleasure and it's an honor. First things first, can you tell us what brings you to Saudi Arabia at this point in time? It's not the first time that I've come. I keep coming here. And obviously, one big reason uh, for coming to Serbia is uh, because of the two holy cities uh, and because of the uh, religious uh, and for the pilgrimage. I was here in 2011 to perform Hajj at this time. 2011? To perform Hajj, and now uh, this time I'm here for Umrah and uh, visit to the Marina Park. Uh, and uh, I have my daughter and my son at all here, so I'm sort of staying with them. Uh, part of the family here and then of course uh, the basic reason being here to visit the holy cities. Can you tell us about the beginning of your career? How was it? Was it uh, uh, by accident or was it by design? It's a long story, a really long time for me to talk about. Well, uh, for all those viewers who are watching uh, this website, uh, to brief you in it's difficult to give you in few uh, words uh, my whole uh, backdrop uh, and my, my sort of way of entering into it. I started with the school broadcast when I was a child uh, and then I started doing theatre and from then I went to films and from films I went to television. So what school and from was then this? on I have been. My basic uh, sort of, uh, of all the journeys of performing art, which is radio, television, theatre, film. Uh, television has been my forte and uh, I owe my recognition and popularity basically to television. Uh, all these years that I've performed, uh, uh, my biggest contribution has been on television. Shakit Sam, you started as a, as a film star and uh, I have heard you say uh, that you did not succeed in films and that was in fact uh, a blessing in disguise because that led to a very successful career uh, in Pakistan television. Is that correct? Uh, there was a time when I was uh, disappointed but uh, later on it uh, came to me that you know that was a blessing in disguise. Had I been confined to films I would have been, I would never have matured as an actor as much as I did. Or I have, and uh, that I owe to uh, entirely to uh, my, my, my uh, association with television. The kind of uh, scripts, the kind of roles that I got to do on uh, televisions, which provided me a chance uh, to grow as an actor, to groom myself as an actor, and uh, hence I owe my identity basically to television. You've also done a Hollywood film, if I if I recall, I've been well, somewhere. I've done two. I've done a film which was made on our, uh, you know, uh, a pirate power of nation, Ramad Vichina. The one that was directed by Akbar Ahmed? Jimmy Ahmed, yeah. yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I was lucky enough to uh, have had the it was a cameo role, but then I played the first you played Prime Minister, the first of Pakistan. Yeah. So that was a great honor for me, for, for any actor to have done that role. So I, mean, I was lucky to have had that role. So that was first Hollywood. The second one? So there was, before that, I did um, a, a BBC uh, Channel 4 production known as Traffic. Uh, Traffic uh, was based on the three countries. Uh, one was Pakistan, the other one was England, the third was Germany. And this is uh, based on all the reality as uh, they have picked up yes, stories. Right. And then I was part of the Pakistan portion. And uh, that CBO traffic won four Amy Awards. Now, Amy Awards are for television like Oscar. Mm -hmm. So it was a great experience uh, working uh, again in an international project. Uh, going to London, attending the premiere, and then sort of uh, going on the street. Till then, I was only confined to the uh, audience in Pakistan and, and other people who speak uh, our language or whatever. 
But that was the first time that I was exposed to an international audience. Uh, and then the first time I stepped out after uh, traffic went on air. And when I was walking uh, in the streets of London, uh -huh. I used to walk into a store and uh, please say, hey, this guy comes on TV. <laughs> That was a very strange and interesting feeling. From Pakistan to Hollywood, I believe that was a big leap. But Bollywood was closer. Is Mr. Shakil Ahmed not interested in Bollywood? Uh, there was a time when I was offered, but then there were a few restrictions, there were a few problems. Uh, uh, the late uh, Yashi, uh, Yash Chopra, Yash Chopra he was very keen to cast me. Mm -hmm. Some of all reasons we could not. Uh, but when I visited Bombay, now Bombay, so then he Mumbai. Uh, and then I met him and he uh, what a fine human being. And when he met me, he said, Shibisa, you don't know how hard I tried to get hold of you. And I decided it was a problem for you to come to India. I would make the film outside Bombay, outside India. But somehow the other things didn't follow. But he get all right, I'm waiting. Uh, whenever I get the right kind of role, uh, I would have to do it. Shikhil Sahib, in Ankahi, the chemistry between you and uh, Shehnaz Shir as Sana Murad, uh, and then in uh, Angantira, the chemistry between uh, uh, you and uh, Bushra Ansari is remarkable. How did it happen? I don't know, Sir Asab, you know, these things happen and by the time when you're doing it, you don't know what is, is what we like. But uh, now when I look back at things, uh, all those signals, all those programs or anywhere in the world, things which finally click is, I think, is because of the, uh, basically, the, uh, there is no formula for success, uh -huh. neither a film nor television, there is no formula. These things happen and when they happen, and leave on people and sit back and try to analyze it. It comes out that uh, one, first of all, uh, the team, okay. uh, comprising of the writer, the director, and the actors, and then the other of the technicians. All efforts pulled in together, and everybody uh, doing their best. And not saying that the RIP have done our best, but you've done your best. Uh -huh. You've been very sincerely, you've put in your best. And ultimately, when it goes on air, whether it's a film or a television or whatever, a theatre, and then when the audience starts uh, reacting to it, and then their, their, their reaction, their, their, their aspiration, their likeness towards it, that's finally what, what then you, you say with your. Especially when you talk about Angitira, it brings back uh, all of uh, Sinna's son. And also, he, what a super actor he was. And uh, besides being a super actor, he was a very fine human being. And this is a rare quality. And all very good actors become very good actors because when they are very good people. So with the quality, uh, the, when I was working with uh, uh, Salim, uh, uh, I remember the kind of the sincerity he had in terms of his performance, in terms of his enactment uh, interaction with, uh, with the whole team. And he used to uh, crack chokes and he used to go into ruptures. And uh, he had a heart of a lion. And now when you brought me to a picture, there may be another city master, a great friend, a great dear friend, a very good aunt. And King Yagin was fun. Shanaz and I had a wonderful chemistry. She was a big, sort of a spontaneous kind of person, she was sort of a, but we do not go exactly by the grammar of the whole thing. Uh, when you use these terminologies, you know, people live off the roads. She was the one who used to live off, uh, to live the road and uh, 
And then you have an actor opposite you, so, so the portrait. So like, so so like, so spontaneous. And it's all about teamwork. So that the chemistry makes it beautiful. And you must have noticed that even uh, otherwise, uh, anywhere in the world, there are uh, you know uh, pairs who have played together. It's because of the chemistry they have.